is this the ultimate prepping silver to buy right now? I think it just might be. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. I can't tell you how thankful I am that you spend the time to watch my videos. It warms my heart, makes me feel really great. So thank you. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you like this video. And if you're not a subscriber, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell. It's amazing how many views I get that are not from subscribers. I, I appreciate all the views I get, but guys, if you don't want to miss my videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. So anyway, there are three characteristics that uh, I think all good silver barter should have in an SHTF scenario. As you know, I'm a prepper stacker. I make no uh, apologies about that, but I do love silver just as much as the next guy or gal. But there are three things that I think you should be looking for if you're buying silver to potentially barter in the future. I've done many videos on why I think bartering silver is a distinct possibility one day. I think things could be priced in silver uh, one day. And you know, I love constitutional or junk silver. But again, there are three things that I think are important when you're looking for good barter silver. The first thing is I think it should be highly recognizable and potentially really trusted, okay? And, you know, constitutional silver, yeah, that is a, a, a highly trusted uh, piece of silver. Why? Because, well, guys, it, it's familiar, right? It's quarters, Washington, eagle on the back. People know what these are. <laughs> and, you know, they're recognizable. Uh, and they're, and I'm sorry, and they're trusted too. They've got liberty on it. They've got, um, you know, in God we trust. It's got the date on them. On the, you know, it's just all the familiar markings of constitutional silver. These are uh, pre-1965 quarters. Okay, and I'm going to talk mostly about quarters today. But, you know, the question is, will they know that this is 90% silver? Well, I, I think so. I think so. Uh, people uh, in a barter scenario might need to be educated. Probably will be uh, needing to be educated that a 1962 quarter that looks like that on the side as opposed to a clad quarter with the copper. Quite the difference, right? The date will be different. And uh, other things like weight and so forth. We'll get to that in a minute. But yeah, I think people will recognize constitutional silver. So that's number one. Uh, recognizable, trusted. The uh, the second thing, and I love that sound, don't you? Oh, man. The sound of silver. Okay, sorry, I got a little distracted there. I believe the second most uh, important thing you need to think about when it comes to bartering this stuff is you want fractionals with low premiums. Okay, yes, you can get fractional uh, bullion silver, but I highly recommend you don't. Why? It's expensive, okay? You're paying a, a lot for that fractional round. One ounce round, sure, but less than that, half ounce, quarter ounce, you're paying too much in my opinion. And, and again, back to the first point, they're potentially less recognizable, some generic you know, fractional round, it's not for Yankee. It's not part of stacking the Yankee way. So definitely, uh, you know, that the, the, the low premium aspect of, uh, of constitutional silver, big advantage. And the third thing, the last thing, is you want low wear, okay? Low wear. Why? Because the more wear you get, the less silver you have. And, you know, when I was at Tim's recently, uh, I was thinking about getting more constitutional silver, but I spied a couple tubes of these. What are these, you might be asking? Well, let me show you. Washington quarters, 90% silver. That's right, silver, edge, 
90%. Aren't they beautiful? Look at that. They are proof quarters. And yes, I'm touching proof quarters with my bare hands. <laughs> okay? They're in a tube. They're not in a slab. They're not in a, uh, a, a U.S. mint proof set. They are individual quarters. So why did I get these? And why do I think that these might be the ultimate prepping silver? And maybe something you should get right now. I'm going to tell you. Oh, and by the way, these are not the 2019 and 2020 uh, uh, ATB or uh, America the Beautiful coins. Uh-uh. Those are triple nine fine, 999 silver, right? These are 90% silver. Those ATB silver coins are expensive right now, especially in the proof condition. You don't want, you won't want to be getting those. This is, this dates back, what is this, 2007, okay? So there was a whole range of these mint sets that were produced at 90% silver. And that's what's in here, uh, a variety of them. So um, let's talk about the three characteristics as it relates to this quarter, all right? Recognizable, trusted, yeah. Okay, United States of America, quarter dollar, liberty, in God we trust. Very recognizable obverse. And this is something that people will say, yeah, that's a quarter. Okay, I know what that is. Uh, will they know it's silver? Well, it's not the same old date. Yes, I understand that. But very similar in terms of its edge. And they weigh exactly the same, or at least... The, uh, a you know proof of one of these would would weigh exactly the same as one of these uh the last thing is or the second thing i should say is fractional low premiums i'm going to talk about how much i uh paid for these it's it's a really really good price point to get these right now and then the last thing is uh low wear <laughs> low wear <laughs> these are proof yes again i'm touching the proof quarter ah <laughs> There is no wear on these. There is no silver loss. What they minted is what you get. So, in fact, let me demonstrate that for you. Let's let's start with uh, you know, again, another way to differentiate between here's a, you know, a clad quarter, right? You know, how will they know this is silver? Well, obviously from the edge, but also the weight. This guy right here, a clad quarter weighs 5.67 grams. And yes, I'm using grams because it's a little easier when you're talking 90% silver and troy ounces and all that stuff with silver. So let's just stick with grams. 5.67 grams for a clad quarter. This, a uh, you know, a, a pre-1965 quarter, this weighs 6.25 grams. Okay, 6.25, 90% silver, 10% copper, junk silver it has a total silver weight of 0 0.1808479 troy ounces of pure silver in it all right what about these the other 90 percent these weigh 6.25 grams exactly the same as its constitutional counterparts now i i, I call these junk silver okay junk proof silver they're not constitutional silver. They haven't, you know, <laughs> earned the right to be worn and, and dirtied and all that, right? Uh, but they are junk silver and they weigh the same. Okay, so, so there's the weight comparison, right? The same and recognizability. But let's talk about low wear. And for that, I'm going to bring out my scale just down here. Turn it on. Let's take a look at some of the uh, some of the junk silver that we have and uh, weigh these. Now again, they're supposed to uh, uh, weigh six point two five grams. Six point one eight. Six point two. Actually, I think I had a barber in here. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, I had a, a war this one's going to be like, yeah, that that's that shows you right there, right? How uh, much wear impacts <laughs> um, uh, the silver loss, right? So let's throw this in here. Six point two five, not quite, almost. So you're, I'm just, I just grabbed a bunch of these. Six point one eight, 
6.11, yeah, these these are this one got beat up bad. 5.8, yeah, I think there's a hole in it. Yeah, that you, yeah. Sometimes when you buy, especially from online bullion dealers, and you can't pick and choose your your constitutional silver, you get stuff like that. 6.23. All right, so yeah, that's what happens sometimes, guys. You get a slow uh, loss, yeah, slow <laughs> loss of silver with constitutional. All right, I still love constitutional, but yeah, it's, uh, it, it, you lose silver with it. These guys, 6.37, actually. Let me let me tear this. 3.36, 6.36, 6.26. This is going to be pretty, wow. And it could be my scale a little bit, but 6.38. The key is, guys, it's going to have show nowhere i have to go through all this but you can see right now that these don't have the wear and tear of constitutional silver so yeah you got the wear issue now what about the costs here's here's the rig big kicker guys i bought these quarters right here when spot was 26 dollars 82 an ounce melt Factors in for 40 of these, okay? So if I, here we go. There's 40 of these that I got in a tube. 40 of them. Melt would be $194. Tim said he bought the entire tube for $195. And he sold them to me for $200. That's $6 over melt. That's just a 3% premium. That is a great price. You're not gonna see that kind of premium in a lot of online bullion purchases when it comes to you know constitutional silver and you can't know what you're gonna get exactly. Now, you gotta be careful when you're buying these online too because, oh, I don't know, companies like um, Atmex might try to you know, jack up the price on these, they're really not that expensive. Uh, in fact, Tim told me that he could hardly sell them. He was having trouble selling these tubes. I, I'm like, wait, what, Tim? He said, yeah. In fact, I was talking to my wholesaler, he said, and thinking, you know, maybe can I just throw them in with the with the constitutional or junk silver? And, he, and the wholesaler's like, no, you got to pull them out. They're not junk. They're not constitutional, right? They're uh, fractional silver, uh, government minted, not even bullion, right? This is actual quarter. So yeah, he said, you got to pull them out. You can't, you can't include them in with those. And he's like, you know, Yankee, I, I, it, it's tough. People, you know, aren't buying them guys. That is what you should be after silver that a dealer can't sell especially when it is so cheap. Again, 200 bucks for an entire tube. I, I'm, I'm happy with that. I mean, it would have been happier if I had maybe done this back, oh, I don't know, last year, but <laughs> that is a, still a very good deal. And folks, I think that this may be the best uh, junk silver out there to stack, at least with quarters, okay? Again, make sure they're not the America the Beautiful Quarters at Triple Nine Fine Silver, but definitely check these things out. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> well, that's it. Leave a comment down below. Tell me if you think that I'm onto something here or is this just not your cup of tea? As always, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.